Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, y'all know what time it is. Y'all yeah. already know. If y'all have already watched the episode, y'all know that it was fire. Yes, indeed. This week. Indeed. But let me tell you, why did they wait until like the last three episodes to bring all this heat for us? We forgive yeah. them because this is we live for this skit. But my God. Right. <laughs> like This should have been happening. Spread that. <laughs> it should have been happening. Spread that back over that way some more and level the player field. Because right. we were quite, we, we had character development a little too long for me. But we're going to get into it. This is Power Book 3, Episode 9, Loyal, Loyal to, to the, the end. end. And when we read the description of what was going to be happening, we already had called it. Right. We called it from the beginning and I said, but then they kind of made us feel like we didn't know what we were talking about. Yeah. Because we was like, oh, okay, Rock, who are you really putting the head out on right now? But we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. So we're going we gonna to start off first talking that motherfucking Lulu is still with us, y'all. He in the land of he the is living. Still, last week, you know, it was kind of like, is he alive? Is he not alive? Some of y'all in the comments was like, nah, Lulu's still alive. And then some of y'all was like, you know, he might be, he might be gone. But uh, I'm so glad that the that the writers of power didn't write him out because yeah. um yeah, we yeah, we he's definitely my favorite. Yeah, he one of our favorite characters, man. He cause he's a solid one, the realness, and we always with anybody that's real and one hundred percent. And no yes, matter sir. what it is that you doing. So they got Lulu over there at the Medical College of Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> got a passcode and everything so that we don't know what room he in. He under alias and all of that. That's where, yeah, because I said that that hospital right there look real janky. Yup, sure did. <laughs> so, uh, of course, this week we pick back up with uh, Uncle Marvin hitting new Neekdom. Of course, I don't know where Neekdom was coming from, but he had this little boy with him. I don't know if that was his son, nephew, sister's kid, but I was like, Come on, y'all. You know, hit Neek or his crew, but don't hit the little boy. And thank God that they didn't hit the little I boy. I had to look away because I said, if I see a baby get shot and killed on this show, I'm done. Right. I'm done. Like, I, <laughs> I, I, I was like this the whole time, so I can't even tell you what that scene entailed. I had to ask him, did anybody get hit? Because I couldn't watch it. But, and again, like we always said, like, them and them got done good. Mama Lou... In the other episode when he had the Tech Nine <laughs> and was trying to shoot Neek dude, didn't get nobody. The heck on Uncle Marvin, I don't I don't know what he had. I don't know if it was an AK 40 I don't know. It don't even matter. It just was an automatic gun. And I don't remember if anybody got hit. I, but, I didn't watch it. But he it. was trying to get Neek. That's the one he really needs to get is Neek. And didn't even come close to getting the Neek. <laughs> but hey, but anyway. So, as the episode progressed, we see that uh, because Lou in the hospital, Symphony want to come over to see what's up. And just when we thought that Rock and Symphony relationship was good, we thought he was out the doghouse. Bro, right so... back in the doghouse. I, I was like, did we miss something? <laughs> yeah, I was like, did something happen? But she said one pivotal thing. She was like, messing around with you, I forgot who I was. So, we've been around here fucking... And, and I suck guess, it in the dark. Yeah, so I, I, I guess she's, I guess she was saying I'm, I'm starting to get soft and I, I'm not seeing something. That while we're out here having this relationship, my brother Lulu Don't is getting me. burnt up in the house. But, but yet again, you was the one that called, but called him for the hit. And that he didn't do the hit, so I don't know why that's your fault. But I, I don't know. But she's but anyway, very confusing. I said last week we were talking about. If you wanted to have a child, would you consider having one with me? Yeah. You know, after I get myself together and out and, and, and close some loose ends up. Now, now, this week, if I wanted you over here, I would have called you. You like, know what it reminds <laughs> me of, real talk? It's like those females that always be like, I want a hood ninja. Yeah. And it's almost like when somebody shows you that they can be down for you and meet those expectations that you need in your life where you need somebody to be there for you, have your back, be there in moments mm -hmm. like this, you don't know what to do with right. that. Like, cause you're so used to that, 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 mm, that you <laughs> got to chase down. Don't right. know where you at. Got to blow him up. So in other words, you ain't got appreciation for you ain't real got, love. You ain't got appreciation for that real thing. But we're not saying Symphony is real. Cause, yeah, cause we don't we know. We still trying to figure this out. Yeah. So, yeah. So, 
for the first time, we see him basically, she, he was like, F you. F you. Like, I said, my nigga. <laughs> but still, he still put it's, her up on game, was like, hey, you better check Tony, because Tony ain't, ain't up and up. Let Marvin know that Tony, Tony ain't on the up and up. Yep. Which we saw with so the recording last like, week with the cops. So I said, what you going to do with that information, Rob? What yeah. you going to do? So even though you basically just dismissed him again, he still was being loyal to you, which is kind of... To the end. Loyal to the end. So I'm still like, I know y'all was saying that y'all believe that he undercover, that he a cop, FBI, or whatever y'all uh, think he is. But I don't know. That's what I, I said. I, I, I know. I, it's kind of like, it. I, don't, I don't know. But I understand that people who are good at that can really... We're not supposed yeah. to figure it out. Yeah, you can't right. figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this, this is what, since we on that, uh, at the hospital and everything, when, um, when Marvin was, um, took, took the shot at Neek's guys and had the dude from last week that snitched on Kanan, and I was like, Uncle Marvin, uh, you rolling with this dude now? Y'all tight, exactly y'all, y'all tight, y'all cool, and after that, he a snitch. Yeah, he a snitch, so I'm like, you know, like, uh, what you call it, say? snitches get stitches. So, after the shooting, Uncle Mom was like, you know how this works. I was like, oh, okay, okay, so we is going to do that. He was like, I was doing that for you, man. You know, I was protecting you. I'd never yeah. snitch on you. Uncle Mom was saying, none of that skit moves So, me. Uncle Mom used this dude to drive, yep. shoot, take bullets if he had to, <laughs> just to get back to the, to the junkyard. Yep. And shoot him and burn him up. And I said, you don't have a little PTSD of what you just saw your brother go through. Like, you just literally going to burn this dude up. Did you just almost see your brother get burnt up? That's all about It's all the game, man. Woo. You don't care. You don't care. You got to do what needs to be done. You you know, you snitch, so you got to be dealt with. And that car, Uncle Marvin's. I'm surprised that that joke was still called, still stopped. What is it, Mercedes? Mm -hmm. The second one. Matter of fact, I think I need to get one of them. You done rammed the car with that. Your your hood is just about gone. You, you got, got bullets everywhere. And that joke is still stopped. Still yeah, I stopped. Still, I, but then, you know, they don't make cars like that no more, though. Mm, not cars, unless it's car, a Honda. Cars ain't built to last like, like they used to. Not unless it's a Honda. So, speaking of Lulu still in the hospital, Neek's crew still, well, Neek still wants to finish the job. Which I don't know how he found out that Lou wasn't dead, but some kind of way he found out. The nurse. Yeah. So we saw uh, Detective Howell was sitting outside the hospital smoking the, smoking the square. And these dudes rolled up with these freaking high top fades, you know, the step Perfectly. boxes. Perfectly. Yeah, those step boxes. Perfectly. Man. Hey, Chris. I used to have one of them. Mm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That was all tight back oh, yeah. in the day, boy. And then when you really get fancy, you put that spray color in it. Yep. Thanks to Bobby Brown. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since Bobby Brown. And I, if, if I ain't mistaken, I think Bobby Brown has said that that haircut was, was a by mistake. mistake. It was a mistake and it became a style. Yep. So, again, we was like, these dudes look suspect. You got a nurse coming out the hospital with looks like a carryout um, yeah. dining bag. Like, you know who and it is. They pulling stuff out and handing you a wad of cash in the broad daylight. I'm like, what happened to, like, you know, maybe getting in the car and y'all pull off and ride down the street? Or meeting and, after work? Yeah, or something like that. I mean, y'all make it look so obvious because detective, I mean, he peeped everything. So I'm like, okay. So we saw that they made it into the hospital. And I'm like, pretty sure that they're going to be stopped before it happened. And they got in there. We saw they pulled the curtains back. And Lulu was gone. And detective, he came and got those guys and arrested. But I was like, it it was it was really unbelievable because they were it doing was. it. Yeah, because they was doing it in broad daylight. So I was like, this ain't gonna work. Mm -hmm. This ain't this ain't no solid hit. So yeah, you want to add a thing to that? Mm -mm. I thought it was a, a bit elementary too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. A for effort though. Yeah. So uh, we see this week Nicole's mama is oh still on this BS. Now, you know, she's still on it that, you know, uh, Juke killed my daughter. She drugged my daughter. My daughter ain't never, ever been on drugs. She done came in and contaminated her. And I, I think I like James. The daddy is fine. I like him. Because when she was talking, because when she was saying all that to, to Detective Burke, he was like, we don't know that. No, we don't know that. Yeah, because she's like, yeah, she never been on drugs. And she introduced her to this life of drugs. He was like, we don't yeah. know that. But my thing is, <clears throat> back it up a little bit. They're at the police station because she, because Detective Burke 
put in the word because y'all, yeah, a thousand of y'all corrected us in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> it was Detective Burke, <laughs> yeah, that um, called in the thing to say, listen, Manhattan police let her go. So the mama, I guess she followed up on the case or whatnot and found that information out. So now she's sitting in the police station trying to confront Detective Burke about yeah. it. And she wants her arrested for the murder, for of, the her murder daughter? of her daughter. Come on yep. now. Come on now. Yep. We need to stop. And then, of course, like they do, I know people in high places. If you don't get this done, I know people that can take care of this that don't like for things to happen to families like, like mine. Me. I'm like, and the daddy was like, <laughs> none of this is going to bring Nicole back. Yeah. And she, don't you think I know that? He was like, but none of it is going to bring her back. And I was like, at the end of the day, you hate to hear it like that, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, she gone. She gone gone. Yeah, so uh, I, I don't know. It's, it's, she, she, just, she just getting on my nerves at this point. <laughs> Hopefully so, this is the last time we see her. I doubt it. I doubt it. You know, you know they don't let go. <laughs> they ain't gonna let it go. They are not gonna let it go. And I know, I know by experience. So I'm, but I'm not gonna talk. <laughs> about it. So I know, I yeah. know, I know by experience. Yeah. They're not, they're not gonna let it go to something. Something happens to Juke, mm. and I don't know what that's gonna be. But yeah, that's my prediction. So we see Detective Howard uh, meets up with Rock after. This whole kerfuffle with the boys trying to come in there and trying to take out Lulu and finish up the job. And he was like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of being sick, sick and tired. I'm tired of you ducking me, man. So, you know, when we going when we gonna make this happen? All right, we'll Stewie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting sick and tired of you ducking me, man. When, when, when are we gonna get this straight? You know, when are we gonna meet up? And so basically, he basically strong on her into this meetup, and I was like, now how is this going to go down? Is Rock really going to give in, or is it time to take out Detective Howard? Which I thought it was going to happen way before this. And that's it. But he, he threatened her. Pretty, yeah, I mean, he, he threatened her last episode. Yeah. This episode, he pretty much was like, listen, if, if you don't let me meet up with my son yeah. so we can talk this thing out, I, we he, got a warrant for we his arrest. We got a warrant for his arrest. We got a warrant for his arrest. Why you telling mama that about her yeah. son? I said, Shh, first of all, it's never going to happen. Second of all, it's never going to happen. And then when he told his doctor that I'm going to be meeting up with my son tonight, I was like, mm -hmm. so she said this hypothetical son is a real son. That's going to come back into play, y'all. Yeah. Just wait and see. That's definitely... And not only did he threaten her, but he was like, the next time I need something from that boy, you better come correct. And she was like, what the hell do you mean? <laughs> what does that mean? He was like, which we already know he thinking about the bone marrow thing. And the Dago narration, though, that was funny. It was like, when nobody, when you, when they down to your lowest, uh, you say, he like, say he like a cop that ain't got nothing, nothing to lose. And I say, and that's true, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> they really do. They doing their thing with his character now. Yeah, they are. They definitely do his thing. So that kind of flips us over to Rock and Kane's conversation, where she was like, basically, I've been in denial. Like you told me before, I that I was in the game before I was in the game. She said it was written in the stars, and you know, it's basically time because we got somebody that's threatening us. They gonna bust up everything we got going on, ruin our whole family, and you gotta be the one to pull the trigger. And I said, you know what? Only you can do it. I said, after all this skit right here, I said, Kanan better not freeze up now. You wanna be in the game? It's time to it's it's time to be it's time to get real. Yeah. It's real now. Say, you've been wanting to do it, it's time to do it. When she said, you got to do it for your mother. Yeah. I Lay said, it on thick. She said, you got DEF CON blood running through your veins. Yep. I said, no, he don't. No, he don't. <laughs> and before that, we saw when uh, him and Uncle um, uh, Marvin was sitting there cleaning out the guns. And he was like, I'm getting the gun? So he was like, yeah, it's, it's, it's wartime. So, yeah. Said, we Mama good with soldiers. that? Yeah. So, he was cleaning the guns. And then after that... Uh, she was uh, teaching him how to shoot with the with the bottles. I remember that back in the day, man. Mm -hmm. Doing that job, you can't even really do well. Where we in at now? Country. You can't even. Yeah, you can't even do that. Where we at in the city, the country still can do that. Up here, you gotta pay. You know, out the high parts to go to the range to be able to shoot. 
And so, that's not fun. I mean, yeah, it's fun. It's, it's fun, fun, but it's, it ain't, it's, it's a lot better being out there shooting beer bottles and beer cans and, and all that crap. And so she would, t she would train him, getting him ready. But the whole time, we, we was like, is she talking about Detective Howard or oh, is she, she talking, talking about, about Neat? Because at the same time, we saw, you know, Neat and his disciples that he got <laughs> yes. came from overseas. You know, them jokes, they was in there deep. was like, you know what? Yeah. It's time to go and take our yeah. corners back. You know, take what belongs to us. Anything. Anything. I don't care who they with. Mama, I don't care what they baby. doing. You go, you need to take them out. So I was like, is she talking about me? Or is she talking about how? Or is she talking about how? That's why I got twisted <laughs> yeah. up in the game. I said, so are you setting up Neek or Detect Detective Howard? Yeah, so we were trying to figure that out. But we'll we'll come back to that. But let's talk about Detective Burt when she rolled up on Juke at um Nicole's grave. Honestly, I thought she really was trying to connect with Juke. I telling didn't. Juke that, you know, high school she had, you know, this girl that she was in love with. And this girl helped her to see herself. Basically, everything that Nicole was to her, Detective said back to her. Mm -hmm. And even suggested going to the, get an icy at Corona. <laughs> and so, Juke didn't buy the BS. She was like, you know what? Uh, is this the part where we bond? You, you know, oh, wow. you talk about what's effed up, effed up with your family. I already got an effed up family, so I don't need to know nothing about your effed up family. The hair she go, asking about the murder of D-Wiz. Asking about the, asking the about the crack. I was like, here we go. So, so Juke said, so this is what this is all about? Yeah. I ain't got nothing to say to you. Yeah, so basically Juke was like, stop following me. And we seen that Juke took that information back to Rock and let Rock know the information because Juke was like, you know, basically what I need to do with this. And Rock had told her, everybody needs a police in their pocket. So we was like, where they, where, where, where they going with that? Where they going with that? Yeah. Which we're going we to talk about that in a few goddamn minutes. But before we talk about that, we're gonna talk about Uncle Marvin and Rock at the church. I'm gonna wait for this part. Uh, because at first, when she was at the church, I was like, so, because you remember she had just told Canaan it's time to take the hit, preparing him to take out whoever she gonna be taking out. He gonna be taken out. Now you at the church and the pastor is preaching, the choir is singing. And I was like, no, hmm. this was before this. I think she was at the hospital chapel, if I'm not mistaken. Was it? She church? went to the church later. She went to the church what? while Canaan was, yeah. Remember her and um, Marvin met up in a chapel. It may have been a church, but it looked like a chapel. That's right. Yeah, that's right. They, yeah, yeah. And so, I assumed it was at the hospital. I could be wrong. Yeah, it could have been the chapel or the hospital. Yeah. So, yeah, they was in there. They was in there chatting it up, talking it up. And I like what she, Mama says. <laughs> oh, what you were here praying about. Yeah, well, you <laughs> <laughs> And I said, oh, so this is the part where y'all just really get back together and bond. And I liked it. Yeah, I liked it. So she told him, was like, you know, basically, you know, it's been crazy, but hey, it's 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 bad out here. It's hard out here for a pimp. I, I now, need you back. We can't do this alone. Yeah, we can't do this, but we, 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 we need you back. And he was like, well, you know, I... I I'm struggling with this, man. It's like, I used to, we, well, we found out that he used to be the one calling the shot. And we found out last week because he was using his own product, getting high on his own supply. She had to step up. She had to step up. So she was basically forced to step up. And he was like, I got to admit, not only are you good, but you better than me. You better at it. You, you said you stuff. see stuff that I don't see you, and you do stuff that I don't do. But I'm still a man. But I'm still a man and I still need respect. I need respect. respect. And so, because she was like, you know, when he took the hit back at Unique, she was like, why'd you do that? You supposed to wait for my call. And he was like, see, that's what I'm talking about. Nobody can tell me how I get revenge or get back on somebody when they mess with my, my family. family. And you know what? I kind of felt that, though. I, I, I said, was like, yeah. I said, I'm with you on that. Yeah, because I'm you don't, you don't get to tell me how to how to retaliate on somebody that disrespected my family. Yeah, because when somebody touched yours, man, it's like, you like, I, I, I got to do what I got to do. I ain't waiting for you to say, hey, let's make the move. By the time I, you say let's make the move, I've done it. Yeah. <laughs> so even though him and Lulu's relationship have been on the rocks, that's still his brother. You know, yes. he can still go hard for his brother. That's family. That's always, always going to be the case. And that's always going to be less to learn. I don't care how close you think you are to somebody. Don't you get in between them sibling relationships yep. and them parental relationships. 
Because you're going to be on the island by yourself at the end of that relationship. Yep. Trust and believe me. We we cuss each other out. <laughs> yep. Fuss, fight, do whatever. We can say the truths about yep. our own. But you better not get your A in the middle of it. I exactly. promise you, you're going to exactly. be on the island by yourself. Exactly. And while we on Uncle Marvin, uh, when him and Kanan was over the house preparing him for his hit, he was like, What's this 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 music you got playing, man? <laughs> you know? He said, I can't yeah, roll I can't, up I can't it. hit my first hit, you know, with this playing right here. He said, he said, man, this, this is history. This is history. He said something more like black history. history. <laughs> so he was like, man, I know Juke got something in there. And we was like, uh -oh. oh. Please don't let him find that it's that guy going song world tape. <laughs> and that's exactly what he found. But it was kind of... It was confusing. At first, it was confusing. It was like, well, maybe he got a soft spot for it now. Maybe he's going to accept it because he actually see her happy. and actually happy with the pictures and on the video until he slammed the TV on the floor. And the biggest that said, okay, is he accepting of you or is he not? Like, it's hard to read this right now. And then at first, I'm sitting here like, I'm, well, the generation that we're in now, parents don't have to figure it out or act like they don't see it. Yeah. But back in those days, remember, she's a tomboy uh -huh. or he's a mama's boy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So now you just see it for what it is. Back in them days, you just be like, oh, it's a phase. She'll grow out of it. You know, she a little rough around the edges because she hang with her cousin Kanan all the time. Right. So I'm sitting here like, Uncle Marvin, you ain't never seen that your daughter likes females. Like, you've never seen that part. But, like we said, that generation, yeah. back in those days, you kind of didn't want to see it, so you 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 reasoned it away. Right. And so, when she came home, he was already on one. So, basically, this this life you want to live. He tore the room up. And he told, I mean, tore her room to, as if, as if she, I mean. <laughs> as if she brought a baby home. Yeah, I mean, he just destroyed it. And she already knew what it was. She She knew where he was on. And he was like, she was like, she's dead. He was like, good. good. That's what she need to be. That's where somebody who violate God's will happens. happens. I was like, so oh, no. so we playing the Bible and God and, and, and Jesus, you know, living right. We playing, we playing that card now after all the BS and skits you have done in these streets, bro. And you cover that That's right the now? skit that pissed me off <laughs> because church folk, don't get me on my soapbox. Like so, James said, but up, but bump. I'm back. Say, but that's what they do. They can do everything in the world. Can have babies <laughs> with ten families. Yep. The the primary family on the front row, the the secondary family in the middle, and the third family on the back row of the church. They all in the same day are gonna service the gavel. But because you the same, <laughs> because you same sex relationships, you, oh, you going, going to straight hell. to hell. Yeah, you nah, going to hell. Yeah, God they, ain't got no forgiveness for that. Yeah, but <laughs> no them right there, they good people. Yep. They good people. You know, God knows <laughs> they hard and there ain't nobody perfect. And he kept digging, too. He kept digging was like, the world is a better place now that people like, like her, her ain't here. It's like, come on. Do and, you know how many people I seen you kill? <laughs> yeah. And, and we just nine episodes in? Yeah. But that's 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 cool. The last one you killed is still in the wall, and, I, and I'm surprised ain't well, nobody no, done smelt him yet. That ain't the last one, because he just set old boy on Oh, wall. that's right. That's right. So I forgot all about that. So we add on to it. So Juke couldn't take no more. Now, Juke was wrong for this. She spit in his face. Um, but I can understand she got pushed to that pushed limit. to her edge. Now, I, 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 me, I never, ever, ever nah. was going to agree with a child disrespecting their parent. I'm like, you got to just leave. Walk away. Yeah, if, go you somewhere. Know. But, I, but at the same time, he was he was pushing. And, of course, when she spit in his face, he smacked the skit out of her. They got to fighting. And like this, a, in the yeah, street. Like, yeah. Got, I mean, tussling. I mean, she had her. She, oh, she gave him one, two. Bop, bop. She gave him. I was like, God, I don't said, you. <laughs> you ain't had to hit him like that. <laughs> but, yes, you did. And so he started choking her, and I was like, That's the only way he got up off I of said, it. man, I said, Uncle Marvin. Click bruh, in, click in, click in. in. This is your daughter, bro. You know, come on, click in. And he finally He clicked. finally let her go. But I'm like, why well, but where do we then, go from here though? And he tried to correct it immediately, but it was like, too late. Like I'm sorry, late. it was too late. He like, said, Juke, juke. And I was like, too late. First of all, you told the girl room up. 
So you don't violated who she is already. You done smacked the skit out of her and choked her. And now you don't choked her. Yeah. CPS about to be at your door. I'm going to choke her to death. Yes. yes. So I'm like, man, so I'm like, well, I don't know, Uncle Ma. I'm like, what do we go? We, 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 you know, you can't call CPS. <laughs> I, I don't know. what You know, what do y'all think their relationship going to go? I, I don't. You think she's going to come back home? Or you think she's gone? She might go over there with um, on, on the right. Uh, you know what's disturbing to me about this whole um this whole power book thing? At least Neek, because somebody has said that it wasn't a hotel that Neek was in. It was actually his high-rise condo. Okay. Why they stay where they so easily accessible? It scares the <laughs> yeah. hell out of me. Like, you can literally just drive up the street and just shoot they skit up. Yeah. I'm going to need y'all to get into a high-rise, too. A b <laughs> behind some gates. Right. <laughs> behind a bellman or something. I'm going to need y'all to have some buffers in between you and the enemy. Because these these houses, these, mm -mm, they scared the hell out of me. They scared me. <laughs> so, yeah, man, I I, 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 I don't know. Uh, but let's talk about rocking her mama down at the church. I didn't, yeah. I ain't see this one coming. Yeah, we didn't see this one, one coming. Um, that's what I was getting ready to talk about. Was I got two scenes mixed up. Where she was down at the church, and where we thought she was gonna be getting saved with the choir singing and everything, and the preacher preaching. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told my I told my wife back in the day at church when I was on the choir, I was like, yeah, that we used to do that on songs. You 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 know you act out what you was doing on the songs. I was still atheist then, so I oh, ain't okay, know nothing yeah. about that. Yeah, so that's what we was doing while you wasn't. While you, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, I ain't know the Lord then. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what we was doing. So at the end, you know, of course, at every black church, you gotta have something to eat. After church, cause you know you gotta feed hungry black folks. So everything that's in the Bible that you ain't supposed, supposed to, eat. to eat. So she was like, you know, Mama, I'm basically the way I am because of you. And Mama was like, No, nah, uh -uh. you grown now. It's on you. It's on. It's on you. But I said, say more, bro. Yeah, I want to hear. Say some, like, what's what's, like, what's what's going on here? Was did Mama used to be in the game? Like, did you get grandfather yeah, into this like, life? Yeah, what's what's I want to know. So they, I didn't know the Mama was alive. So for them to show that, it got to be something there with the Mama. I, I don't I don't know. Mm -hmm. What y'all think? Y'all let us know. Comment what you think. I, I'm gonna tell I'm you what th I think it is. I think that mm -hmm. old Mama, like you said, was in the game back in the day. May not have been as heavy, but then. Something happened and she became saved and she the church lady now. Right. And everybody else going to hell in the handbasket. Or because it do seem that they have some spiritual ties right. to the church. Because just like what Marvin said that Jew, people like them going to hell. Yeah. They it, grew up in church, yeah. They grew so they grew up in church some kind of way. Hmm. But and, I don't know what this is. And then I wonder now, because you remember um when uh Uncle Marvin was in the church talking to Rock. He said, I basically during there raised you and um and, and Lulu. Lulu. So I'm wondering. And she said, and I know that. So I'm wondering, here, here, I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna go down this road right here. I wonder if she was on that stuff and forsook them and Marvin had to be the one to step up. He to did take say care of that. Is he that? did say he said, Well, Mama and Ed was on that skit. He oh, did he, say that. Oh. Yeah. See how you missed you can miss the points yeah. like that on. So yeah, because in make, my mind she was sense. dead, so I didn't I didn't really you know grasp it. So that makes sense then. So yeah, so basically because you was living that life, I'm living the life I'm living now because we basically was in survival mode and we had to do what we had to do to survive. And we ain't never stop. I mean, but what y'all think? Y'all 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 let us know uh, uh, what it is that y'all think. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's showtime. It's time for Canaan to do his thing. And when he went into the bag and he pulled out Unique's coat, I, I said, said oh. I get it. I get the plan. So basically, let's fast forward. We talk about let's fast forward back to when. We're going to do what now? We're going to fast forward backwards <laughs> to when Rock had told you that you ought to have a, a cop in your pocket. But she didn't explain it. Then we seen Juke outside the police station waiting for Detective Burke. Burke. They got in the car, and so she told Detective Burke, "You basically need you need to watch your back because you remember when y'all tore up, when y'all messed up Neek's drop. Neek's drop. He coming back. He coming back to hit." And she was like, hmm. "Oh." And I said, "Oh." 
said, how do you know that? And then I was like, mm-hmm. So when Kanan put on Unique's coat, I said, it makes sense. Going to see Detective Howard with Neek's coat on, which we know now that was to take him out so that it can be traced back to Neek that Neek was the one that killed Detective, Detective Howard. And the proof was going to be what, what Juke was saying, they hitting back from messing up the yeah, drop. Right. Now, if this, if this plan is going to play out this way, we have no clue. But, however... I, I I I I'm so glad that I'm that Kanan went through with it, man. Because but, Detective Howard was getting on my nerves. Yeah. But then I thought that he was going to not finish the job because remember where his mama was te um, teaching him how to shoot with a knife. Yeah. She was like, you shoot him once or where they think and twice and, and, and what pumps. Yeah. And he shot him once. Yeah. And I was like, with 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 the other, and he had that look in his face like I don't want to do it. I don't want to <laughs> complete the mission. I said, look, you too, you too deep. You too deep in. You got to go ahead and finish it. Yeah, you got to finish it up. But here is what's gonna happen. When I say something is gonna come back, no one knows about what Detective Howard's plans were for that night, other than his doctor. Ooh. He told his doctor. Yeah. That I'm gonna be meeting my son. Yeah. Tonight. That skit's gonna come back into play. The only way that they probably could weasel out of that is is the doctor don't know who his son is. That but is he's gonna know Neek is not his son. They the same freaking age. True. <laughs> They're the same age. Yeah, so uh yeah, that was that was basically power this week, man. It's like it's it's I mean it's getting really good now. I think we got one more. Yeah, I think we got one more. I think next week is the season finale. If I'm wrong, y'all let us know. But yeah, I think let us know. But I but I, I definitely think so. I'm very interested in like where is her and Symphony relationship is gonna go because he was talking like I'm I love what you love. Basically, I'm 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 down with doing what you so I'm like where is, is this is going where this going where that's going to go that did make him sound suspect though yeah and uh hoping that we see Lou back up fully next week but then again Listen, maybe not cuz he, he did get up, he did get burned so if he got back this week we be like you know that's magic you when know he, woke he got up, back up that quick when he woke up we both was like, like Lou, yeah, my boy, Lou my boy is back my boy is back now i wish that rockin' was there when he opened his eyes cuz yeah. he woke up and he was like where everybody at his girl was like, how you feeling? You were supposed to woke, woke up yesterday. He said, I feel fried. I mean, that's how I'm feeling right now. He probably was like, what the fuck happened right here? Yeah. We going to have our soldier back, man. Yeah, he back, man. He back. So uh, we're going to see y'all next week for another episode of Power straight from the freaking VA. The Dirty, Dirty South. Two up, two down. Holla. Ooh.